In question 8.2.1, I'm quite excited because there's something important I want to show you. So this is obviously an identity and with an identity you typically choose the more complicated side to start with. So I'm going to start on the left hand side. Now, where some students get a bit awkward or nervous is with cos 2a. The reason is is that there are three different options but I want to show you and you might have watched this in my previous lessons that there is a strategic way that you can choose cos 2a. It doesn't have to be a guess. So what you do is you look at this cos 2a and you realize that it's at the top See, it's at the top, it's not in the num it's not in the denominator, it's in the numerator. So what you do is you look at the top of the the, 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 the answer we're trying to get to. And have a look at that. Does it have cos? Does it have sin? Or does it have sin and cos? It only has sin. Can you see it? It only has sin. So what we do is we choose the option that only has sin. Kevin, is it really that easy? Yes, it is. If it had a bit of cos and sin, then I would go with this one. And then if it only had cos, I'd go with that one. Um, this method is almost bulletproof. I haven't seen it fail yet. It works every single time. So we choose sin. And so we're going to change that to 1 minus 2 sin squared of a plus sin a. See what I did there? I just changed this one using this formula here. And then at the bottom, we're going to have cos squared of a. What we now do is we simplify. Well, we, yeah, we get rid of any brackets, put all the like terms together. But we can't really do anything because it is simplified. There aren't any brackets. And so when you get to this step, you want to factorize. Now, can you see at the top, it's a trinomial. It doesn't look like a nice one just yet. But if we rearrange it and put the square in the front, then the sin a, and then the plus 1, that's a trinomial. Okay, now I don't know about you, but I don't like factorizing with negatives in the front like that. So I take out that negative, and I do this. Now you don't want to get rid of that negative, because it's not an equation. Okay, so I've just put this here, that's the answer that we're trying to get to. Now, we're going to factorize this bracket as a trinomial. A lot of my students always say, Kevin, can't we just use the quadratic formula? Of course you can. You definitely can. Um, so if we factorize this, it's going to give us 2 sin a and then sin a. And then we need to make 1. So that's obviously just going to be a 1 here and a 1 here. And then a minus here and a plus here. You might have to pause right now and make sure you get to that. Um, don't carry on with the video until you can get that yourself. Remember, I've been doing this for like nearly half my life. <laughs> so I'm a bit more, um, I, I do this every single day. So whereas you guys haven't done this every single day, you have other subjects you need to worry about. So pause the video and make sure you get to that same answer. And then at the bottom, we've just got cos squared a. So things are looking pretty good at the top because we've got this 2 sin a plus 1, and we have that at the top as well. Um, at the bottom here, we only have sin, but here we have cos. So you might be thinking, oh, I'll just try use the formula sheet. That would be wrong. Because the formula that a lot of grade 12s forget is the following. It's the grade 11 formula, which is sin squared a plus cos squared a equals... 1. This is a very useful formula. So now, if we want, we can take this formula and we can get cos squared a alone, and that's going to be 1 minus sin squared a. And so I'm going to change the bottom into that. So let's just rewrite everything. Then, this is a difference of squares, or difference between two squares. And so that's going to become, I'm just going to leave the top as it is. And then the bottom will be 1 minus sin a and 1 plus sin a. Wow, it's a very good question because students, you guys might be tempted to cancel this, but they're not exactly the same. Can you see that? They are a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a negative at the bottom. There are other ways we could do this, but that's just, I think that'll work quite nicely. We take out a negative at the bottom. Now when you take out a negative, it only comes out of one bracket. Don't take it out of both brackets. So this will just become sin a minus 1. 
because the scenario will become positive and the, you might have to pause here as well make sure you get that that's my biggest piece of advice when you're watching me um, and you get to a section where I've maybe gone a bit too fast I try not to but maybe I do sometimes pause the video and just try it and make sure that you understand it's a great way to build confidence and then this one stays as it is you don't take the negative out of both and now all of a sudden um, these cancel even the negatives can cancel out. That's quite nice. And so we left with 2 sin a plus 1. And then at the bottom we have 1 plus sin a. And that's exactly what we're trying to get. So we can say, therefore, the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side.